Hello everybody, in this video we'll talk about an error I had some time ago on uh, on my website on this uh, on my Romanian web development course website, I also have an English one basically I am greeted with this error you don't have permission to access this, access this resource AH00132 file permission deny server access ok whatever so basically a 403 error forbidden error this means that we have uh, no access now what we need to do is change the permission for the file so this can happen for from uh, various reasons w what helped me uh, solve this issue was going into my uh, files from the server and looking at the permissions so i have 644 644 on, on all of them and this index file so basically i'm going to to the index index file on the website i need to go on the index file right click edit um, no right click and go to change permissions go on to change permissions and put 644 all right now you also give give the group uh, read um, access okay so the group has no read access before it had no read access so that's what uh, what was triggering the error now so far so good if we go on the website we hit, hit enter we can see that the course is now uh, running okay but now the the funny part let's say you upload a bunch of stuff and that stuff is inside your assets folder or even deeper down in other folders do would you find it a great idea to go inside of them and changing each file like each individual file you can have thousands of files so basically what you need to do is um, because here okay you can you can select all of them yeah but here you don't have an option to 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 go into each file and uh, set set the the permissions to uh, 644 so you need to do that to each file as you can see the folders have 755 so it's a little bit tricky. The best option I found for this is to use FileZilla. You just Google uh, Google FileZilla, download the um, the app, and log in into your uh, into into your um, FTP server, right? So I go here in coursewebdev.ro, select all, yeah. I select all holding uh, so I click on the first and then hold shift and then left click and then I go to file permissions now here we are greeted with this menu numeric value um, xxx we're going to put and uh, we're going to put 644 and now we'll, we're going to select recurse into subdirectories and we are going to choose not apply to all files and directories but apply to files only and we are going to click ok this is going to, to run through all the permissions there and set them to 644 so this is the faster way of doing it instead of going on the uh, on the website so that was it i hope this this video was useful to you and I would appreciate if you leave a like, a comment, or if you have any questions or issues, maybe somebody else can, uh, can help you with that. I wish you a pleasant day, and until next time, ciao!